Okay, so we're in iTunes now, and as you can see, I have a library of songs. I have uh, about 4,600 songs here, and I've changed the view in my iTunes library so that you can see all the different fields in the database that I want to use in my query. So obviously you have your song name, the rating on my songs, and you can see I have a bunch of songs here. Some of them aren't rated at all. Some of them are four, five, two, three, whatever. Uh, the artist, the album, the genre, the year that the album was released, and then some of the other fields that I want to use to build my smart playlist. So, for instance, date added. When did I add this song to my computer? Uh, and I'm going to use that when I build my playlist that says um, new songs. Last played, I'm also going to use this when I try and identify songs that I haven't heard in a while. So you can see some of these songs I might have never played or since I rebuilt my, my iTunes database anyway, I haven't played them. And then some of the songs I've played uh, pretty recently. Um, this song here I played today and then some other songs, you know, a long time ago. Then uh, some other information that I'm really not going to use for now. So let me just scroll back over. So what we want to do is we want to create a smart playlist first. The first thing we want to do is identify um, my top rated songs. So I'll say file, new smart playlist. And the first thing I want to do is pick my field. So I want to say rating and then my condition uh, is greater than and then I'll say three stars. So I want anything that's four stars or five stars. Now if I wanted to add another condition I could click this add button here and then put in my second condition. However I don't so I'm just this is going to be my only criteria. Now if I want to limit the smart playlist say I only want 25 songs I could do this but what I really want here is I want all my favorite songs to show up so I'll, I won't place a limit on it at all and I've also ch have checked your live updating so that means anytime I go to play this smart playlist it will automatically rerun this query to identify any new songs that might have um, been added to the computer since I built it and pull them into the playlist so I'll say OK and then I'll give it a name so I'll say Call it my favorites. And I'll put it there. Oh, I pulled out the wrong one, sorry. Call it my favorites. Okay, now I want to build another playlist that identifies all of my new songs. So I'll say new smart playlist and I'll say date added. This is the date I added it to the library is in the last and I'll say two weeks. So I want any songs that are no older than two weeks old. And a lot of times I add uh, podcasts, I download podcasts. Now I don't want these to be part of my, um, my new songs. I really only want it to be music. So what I'll do is I'll say I'll place a limiter on there or uh, um, an exclusion. So I'll say genre is not and then I'll type podcast. And I can do two things here. I can match all of the criteria or I can match any of the criteria. So it could be either of these two things must be true, but I want all of it. So I want it to be a new song and I don't want it to be a podcast. Again, I don't want to place a limit on this. Um, odds are I'm not going to be adding more than a, a CD or two every now and then, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to overwhelm the list. And I want live updating, of course, so anytime I add a new song or a new album, it gets automatically pulled in. So I'll say OK, call it New Songs. All right. And then I want to build finally one that's called songs that I haven't played in a while. So I'll say 
new smart playlist and I'll say last played is not in the last one month. You know, I'm going to say two months. So I want any songs that I haven't heard in at least two months. So these are going to be songs, you know, like I said, I haven't listened to in a while. And I'll give it a name. Okay, so now I have my three playlists. I have one that will give me any new songs, one that will give me all my favorite songs, and another one that will give me songs I haven't heard in a long time. Now, what I want to do is build a complex playlist that pulls in all of these three. So I'll build one more playlist. So I'll say new smart playlists, and I'll say, now if you look here, it says playlist is... And I'll say new song, then I'll hit the plus sign, and then I'll say playlist again is my favorite song, and I'll hit the plus sign and add another condition, and then I'll say playlist is long time no here. Now, I probably won't have any songs that appear in all of those so I don't want to say match all of the rules I want to say match any of the rules and I'm also going to say limit it to I'll say 200 items that are selected at random so it's going to give me 200 songs in total randomly selected from these three playlists and I also want live updating, of course, so I'll say OK. And I'll call this Mixed Up Songs. OK, so now if I look here at my new songs, I only have four songs on there. If I go to my favorites, I have 565 songs that match that condition. And then if I go to Long Time Now Here, there's 4,000 songs. So let's see. If I go to this Mixed Up Songs, it will have 200 items, just like I said, and it will be a mix. So you can see some of these are highly rated. Some are not rated at all. Uh, if I go to, for instance, Date Added, and I sort on that, some of these were added within the last two weeks. And then some of them, if I go down to the bottom, some of them were added over a year ago. Then if I go to, let's say if I do view, view options, and last played, if I add that in, I could see when the last time I heard these songs were. So some of these songs I've heard very recently. Some of them I haven't listened to for over a year. And some of them, if you look down here, I haven't listened to at all since I loaded them onto this computer. Uh, that's because they're my wife's songs, and I don't like them. But in any event, that's what you can do. That's how you can create smart playlists. And not only can you create a smart playlist that identifies a particular thing, you can create a super playlist that pull in a mix of stuff from a combination of multiple smart playlists and um, kind of really control exactly what you want to hear when you want to hear it. The nice thing about it, when you talk about the dynamic updating or the live updating, let's say I build this smart playlist and there's some songs on here and I look at it and I say, you know what, I don't really want these Amy Mann songs in my smart playlist. So what I'll do is I'll hit delete. Now it's not going to delete them from my computer, it's just going to remove them from the playlist. So when I do that, what happens is, if you notice, my, my playlist still says 200 items. Well, it went, and it, since those two songs were removed, it went in and it ran the query again and pulled in two new songs that met the criteria. So you could kind of do that. Like you could say, uh, I don't want to listen to these Beatles songs. Hit delete, remove them, and they'll be removed. You'll still have 200 songs, so they'll be replaced with new songs that meet your criteria. And you can do this. And let's say you're tired of all these songs. You can just hit delete 
and it will rebuild the whole playlist all over again. So these are some of the things you can do with the smart playlists. Okay, well, get to it and create some of your own and enjoy.